Hey lovelies, it's the Gears One Angel here. Bring wait, wait, wait. My name, my channel's name is not Swan Angel anymore. It's Swan Creates. I think it's time I change it. So let's let's see how it sounds. <coughs> hey lovelies, it's your girl Swan Creates here, bringing to you a brand new video. It sounds a little weird now. But I think as I keep saying it, it might come natural, like how Swan Angel turned, you know, natural. So let's start off. <laughs> hey lovelies, it's your girl Swan Angel. See? <laughs> Alright, <clears throat> one more time. Three, four. Hey lovelies, it's your girl Swan Angel. Okay, I think I have to keep it this Swan Angel. Okay, one more time. One more time. <clears throat> Hey lovelies, it's your girl Swan Creates here bringing to you a brand new video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Thanks so much for giving my video a try. I hope you stick around and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and click that little bell so you'll always be notified when a new video comes out. Yeah! So this, this video, it's a very exciting video for me because this is my first collab and I'm so excited. Oh. So I'm collabing with Sonia Stageman. She is an amazing artist and I've been following her for a while on Instagram. And when she started her YouTube channel, I had to go over and subscribe one time because I love her art. She's mainly a digital artist, but the things she creates are wonderful. And I was so excited when she agreed to do a collab with me. <laughs> okay, alright, <clears throat> calm. <sighs> alright, okay. So I'm really excited to do this collab. And in this collab, she's drawing my OC Moonlight, and I'm drawing her OC Esmeralda. Yeah. And in order to aid us in drawing each other's OCs, we created a mood board to give them an idea of what to do. And her mood board is all these peachy, light colors, and I found it real pretty. But I have no idea what to draw. <laughs> no idea what to draw. So I pulled up my sketch pad, and I'm just going to try and sketch something and see what I come up with. So let's get sketching. Let's get sketching. Let's get sketching. Approximately 10 hours later. Mm, it's bending. All right, I don't know what to draw. I'm like, scribble, scribble, scribble. Head. You know what? Let me just look at the mood board. And such peachy colors. This kind of makes it look sexy, the cherry in the mouth, but everything else seems so calm and neutral and naturistic so, um, sky so blue you know this kind of reminds me of Hannah Montana as well it's not Hannah Montana Miley Cyrus's video for Malibu so I'm going to check out that music video now because the colors kind of remind me of it so I'm going to check out that music video and I'll be right back one hour later Okay, so I just watched a music video and I like this scene here. You see the color of the sun, but I don't really think I should put her like in the sea with all the balloons. It doesn't really feel right. But watching this music video made me think of like being free because it looked like she was having a lot of fun <laughs> in this music video, especially when she was doing those little leg tapping thing. So, what's something that's free? Something that so I think that's what I want to portray, like, you know, being free, being relaxed, just being, being. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to watch over to Google. I'm going to watch it over again and I'll get back to you guys again. More moments later. So, alright, so ideas to have is, let's say, let's do a frame. Yeah, it's just like in a field of like flowers. Gosh, I hate thumbnailing. <laughs> it makes me always feel stupid. 
but let's say she's in a field of like flowers and she's just she's just happy and free and of course we have to draw her parrot friend and now you see she just has her hand up in the air and she's just have her knees up In Malibu, inside so free. <laughs> so crazy she looks. <laughs> and, and all that hair. Oh, it could be blowing in the wind. And she's just having fun. Skies. And her parrot friend could be there going to grow here, on her shoulder, or maybe in the sky here. I'm not really into that idea. Much, but it's something to get back into we can also like just have her in a relaxed pose you know you have your hand how do you even draw that you have your hand behind her back what the heck am i drawing okay cool yeah that's it and she just has her feet oh, apparently i'm liking this knee up Ooh, it can even put like one foot up and she's just enjoying herself and just as a parrot friend like ah flying and of course hearing the wind in Malibu she's smelling Esmeralda smelling and of course it has this really cute skirt in the mood board and these boots cute and she can have the boots on and the skirt even though just the top and the panty kind of looks cool with Maddy Cyrus wait this pose kind of reminds me of us <gasps> that's it that is it lovelies I got my idea this is it this is it being free swinging on a swing how oh, is your swing oh my gosh yes that's it because this kind of looks like she's on a swing so let's say she's like that so and really her hands go up i need a reference of course but let's just go so and she's swinging and swinging down by the ocean and of course i hear like flying in the wind and she's looking in like this direction or something and her parrot friend maybe you shouldn't do it maybe he, she should be looking this direction and her parrot friend is here with her as she flies and it has like three no four pictures no we like five pictures of like nature stuff so we could put flowers around her maybe should I just do the swing and her and the bird or should I have a tree? I'm not good at background so I'm just gonna keep it simple. So oh my gosh, yes. That's it. So I'm gonna look up reference and I think I'm gonna sketch this off camera because I ain't got time. <laughs> and I'll come back to do the line work. So bye. So okay lovelies, I first sketched this out and I didn't like it. So then I had to draw it again and I was liking it but comparing to the first one I was like eh. and then I just went back <laughs> to the first drawing I did I just did a few tweaks and I was happy with it so there it is and the reason why I wasn't liking this first one was because her face was so small in the whole drawing <sighs> this drawing I like drawing faces. Faces is my favorite thing to draw. That's why when I get a page, I want to fill up the whole page with the face because I like to draw the details on the face. I love to paint faces. So in this composition, I had in mind when I sketched out, her face is very small and it was bugging me out. But when I sketch it over, it seems stiff and I like the first, this one better because it had a float in it. It actually looks like she's Swinging and just of, instead of just posing on the swing. So, what we plan to do in this collaboration is that we each adopted each other's OC, where we swap each other's OC, and we draw it as I said. And I came up with a story 
in Esmeralda's timeline to, you know, you know, just make it, just, just, just to add a story. And my story behind this painting that I'm doing here now is that Esmeralda mother died. I think, yeah, because in the video that Sonia did when she created Esmeralda, she never specified if her mother died, but she did say that Esmeralda inherited her mom's shop and she also got the parrot. Now, the parrot is not just a normal parrot. She wanted a companion who Esmeralda could go to for advice. First, she was going to do a goldfish, but she said it would have been weird. And I was like, has she not read Cat in the <laughs> Oh, well, anyhow. So she came up with this African gray parrot. And he's a very powerful spirit guide, in my opinion, I believe. He's a very powerful spirit guide. And he doesn't have a name yet, but she's planning on having one. And in my storyline for Esmeralda is where he is a very powerful shaman or fortune teller yeah not shaman but how that fit it he's a very powerful fortune teller but he was born with a frail body and he was going to die much sooner than he planned and he found this a way that he could live longer but he had to give up his physical body and he was like yeah i'm gonna do that because my body is all weak again and he could live longer so but the thing is it bound him to be a spiritual companion he could really be free yeah so i don't know this is the first idea i came up with and after and he was very close to Esmeralda's <laughs> mother but after she died he made it his mission to teach Esmeralda everything that she needs to know but the thing with him and her mother is that they want to teach her the old way of doing things, the outdated way. But Esmeralda, she's modern, she's hip, she's fun. And even though she is proud of being a fortune teller and she likes her powers, she doesn't like the way they are teaching her how to use her powers. Everything they tell her seems so old, everything they tell her seems so outdated. And she just wants to do things her way. This is the part of the painting where I was putting so much water on the page that it was buckling and it was not easy to paint on it. So I took some masking tape and taped it above the washi tape I already put around the edges. And after I did this, it was really easy to paint the paint uh, to paint and I just went on with the painting and it felt so weird to use watercolors after so long just using color pencils and it felt weird and I forgot to take so long but it's also very common. But anyhow, back to the story. So Esmeralda wants to do things her way so she's discovering ways to use her magic or use her powers as fortune teller, a fortune teller to you know, fit in with modern day lifestyle because she means the old ways, the young people, they're not going to go to what has been done for years. They are not interested in that. They're interested in these new ways. So this is why they are always at war. <laughs> it's because he's always telling her, do it this way. And she's just tired and be like, if we are going to do it. So this painting now, it's where after an uh, argument they had, when he was trying to teach her to do it away, she was frustrated that she couldn't get to do, I, I guess same thing because I have no idea. What do fortune tellers do? Tell people fortune. And do, besides tell people's fortune, do they do other things? Palm readings? I'm not sure. I should have researched that first. But anyhow, it's after a lesson. She got mad, he got mad, words were said, and she ran away to the field. She kicked off her boots because even though the boots was on the mood board, I didn't want to put it on her feet because I sketched it on, but I didn't like it. 
I didn't like it. So I put the star from the boots on her sweater. And that cute little cropped up sweater is from Miley on the in the music video for Malibu. I also drawn her with the panties, but I think I, when I watched it, I was like, nah, I need to add the skirt. And yeah, I'm glad I did add the skirt. Yeah, so she kicked off her boots after the argument and she just went on the swing and she's just been swinging, 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 trying to just be free. Just trying to forget everything that's happening, all the frustration, the loss of her mother because it's recent, the loss of the mother and all the responsibility that has come onto her shoulders and how she isn't able to, you know, make her spiritual guide happy and she not happy herself so she just wanted to be free of that so she just went to the swing to swing and be free and she's enjoying herself she doesn't even know how long she's been swinging and of course her companion is like where have you been and he has been searching for her desperately and be like where are you where are you and then when he just saw her he was he was like really worried and think i was thinking about all the horrible things that could have happened to her especially after losing his last companion so shortly i have no idea why she lost how he lost them how he lost you know what i'm not sure how esmeralda would have died but yeah just know the both of them are suffering from the loss and he is coping the way he could and esmeralda is coping the way she could and, but it's clashing it's really clashing and when he just saw her just being free on the swing just after he's been worrying for how long he just flo flies up to her and is like chastising her and she just turns her head with a smile and she just continues swinging because what well, he could do he has wings but those claws he can scratch her but anyway that's the story i have for this painting and I was just well, in the beginning I wasn't going to put much details in the beginning I just wanted to draw Esmeralda but the background looked there so <laughs> I just wanted to add like the impression of having a field of flowers beneath her and uh like I know when it's have a sunset and it just look peachy and pink and pretty that's the kind of background I wanted for the sky and it went way further than I thought it would. I was not planning that much details in the grass. I was not planning that much details in the sky. It's just when I was painting, it just came over me. I was just looking up reference pictures after reference pictures. And oh, I think I forgot to mention the reference picture I got for this picture for Esmeralda's pose. It's a, it's a picture I got from DeviantArt. You guys should check it out. I have the link in the description. They have a lot of cool pictures for poses. But back to the story, back to the I was not planning for all these details. I wasn't. This surprised me because I had a deadline. It took me so long to decide on a sketch, a final sketch for it. And I have a subpoena in my two days and edit. So, but I just kept painting and I brought out my color pencils and I put some details in the grass. And it was just supposed to be an impression of a field, and it actually looks like a field of flowers underneath her. And I really like the setting of the sun in the background. I never painted clouds in my life. It, it's just subtle and I never expected doing this challenge would have made me step way out of my comfort zone and do naturistic stuff and actual good background and I keep looking at it and watching it now and I'm really proud of this painting <laughs> I'm really proud of this painting I have never thought to use these colors I'm more of an earthy tone Person, type of person I love to use purples, blues, darkish colors. Let's just say I use like darkish colors. And I was like, wow. Never thought I would enjoy color with peach. 
that much. And that was really amazing how you just wrote it, guys. I'm so thankful for Sonia Stageman for doing this collab with me. I never thought that her, she would do it, would ever do it with someone like me because, wow. I have been following her on Instagram for a long time. Yeah, it's been months, but still, I just recently found her. When I found her art, I instantly followed her. And her art is amazing, guys. So go check her out. Her, her links are in the description. And of course, you have to take like a look at the tape. I'm so happy that I did this collab and I'm so happy with this painting. <laughs> My voice just went down really much. I'm really happy with this painting and the story I came up with it. Okay. And I have to say thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to go over to Sonia's channel and check out her video of how she drew my OC Moonlight. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.